In the last session, we talked about the formula for describing tables. Another area Asian managers may have a problem with, however, is describing graphs. In fact, professional delivery in this area requires training even for native speakers. So the aim of this short video is to teach you how to talk about graphs like a BBC presenter. The method of describing graphs is a little different from that of tables because you are dealing with wavering lines that flow up and down. Therefore, your voice should rise and fall in unison. Pitch and rhythm are essential to keeping the audience engaged. To maintain a good rhythm here, keep your language simple, dimple and clear. Use verbs like rise, continue to rise, reach a peak, fall, continue to fall, bottom out, level off, recover, rise, continue to rise, reach a peak, etc, etc, etc. Make sure all your data points are correlated to time because any data point without a time reference is meaningless. Also, you must explain and clarify important changes, especially if they're influenced by economic events. And finally, intersperse technical language with everyday speech. If you don't do that, the audience will fall asleep. When describing graphs, it is important to begin by describing the overall trend before going into details and wrap things up by giving a description of the future. Also, it's a good idea to start by saying what it is you're talking about. A typical description will run as follows. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'd like to talk about the Dow Jones Industrial Average from 2006 to 2010. After two years of severe fluctuations, during which time the Dow Jones Industrial Average hit lows not seen in 20 years, prices are now back at 2006 levels. The index remained steady for most of 2006, hovering around 11,000 points. Then... Midway through 2007, it began to rise sharply, reaching a peak of 14,000 points in September of that year. However, a steep decline set in following the subprime mortgage crisis and prices continued to fall into 2008, a few optimistic rallies notwithstanding. In October of that year, however, disaster struck with the collapse of Lehman Brothers and the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost over 20% of its value in a single day. The uncertainty of the next few months saw further steep declines and finally in March 2009 the market bottomed out at 6,800 points, down over 50% from the peak of 16 months before. Finally, however, institutional investors decided it was time to get back into the market and the index rebounded with stocks soaring 500 points in April. Since then, the market has recovered 36% of lost ground. So there you have it. To speak professionally about graphs, you need to practice this rhythm and pitch. Keep a balance between the technical data and casual language and make sure every data point is linked to a specific time. Again, for Asian managers, this is an excellent opportunity to practice diction and stress and intonation and low context delivery. So you're killing many birds with one stone. To learn more about communication tricks that enhance your leadership and performance, please visit our website.